told that he needed a physical for his ROTC drill team. Um, and somebody told me that I could go to this clinic close by and get it right away. So I showed on the map that it was like really close to the house. So I'm walking over and I'm looking and looking and it just, there's brick building and everything is closed. Um, but there, I can't read the signs obviously. Um, so uh, there's a taxi cab driver and I use my Google Translate and speak um, and I was able to communicate with them. Apparently it's closed today so we will have to wait until Monday to get his physical and right now I'm just gonna walk over to the beach and walk home through the seawall because it's nicer than walking through the streets. I love how the apartments here they're all are called mansions. So it's like a name in the mansion. In our area, this is actually the number one place to eat. But it's mainly soup. It's been too hot to have soup. So we're gonna wait for that one. And there's the side line grill that we showed last time. This is a very famous nail place, which I'll have to try. So pretty today. So the guys getting ready to go diving. The water looks so nice right now, and it's super hot out. So I think I'm going to. I don't have the right shoes to be in this type of water environment. I think I'm gonna go down and at least touch it with my feet, obviously. I hope I don't fall down. It's pretty, whoa, it's pretty slippery. Can you see the fishes? Okay, so last time when Rolly was watching the sunset, he was sitting up there. I think it was up there. He was sitting up there. But right now, we are down here. Or I am down here because the boys are at work at school. So it looks like they are fishing. The guy. I don't know if he caught a fish or that's his bait because <laughs> it's really little I'm getting nervous for those girls looks like they're doing a photo shoot but they are wearing heels and walking through those rocks I mean, they look super cute, but it was hard enough walking barefooted. You can't imagine walking there with shoes with heels. She's getting closer, guys. She's surviving. She's walking like a champ. I think she's gonna get the gold. Okay, I'm walking barefooted on these rocks and they are super slippery. So I don't know how the hell she did it. Oh, 
California Rose, Shio's favorite. Maybe the fireball. Have lots of tasty stuff to try. Oh, Actually, I'm having wine. Oh, He's having two beers. Gio, how's the fried squid? I think it's pretty good. She was going to town with the sushi. What are your thoughts? Where are you taking your next bite? It's really good. What do you rate it? You know Kiki wants to know what you rate it. A 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's really good. It's very fresh. Oh, 10 out of 10. What about you? How do you rate your beer? Because it's cold. And your sushi rolls? Mm, nine of ten. Because I want them bigger. Okay, Jill, so why don't you want to try my dish? Because you said that's a traditional dish. I'm not traditionally from here. Traditionally from California. So we have In N Out and burgers and fries. But this is so good. So it has um, spam. And there's some bacon in there. And it has egg. Mm -hmm. And it. Is that big tofu? And it has tofu. Um, and of course, the goya, which is a summer vegetable. Or I don't know if it's vegetable or fruit. Um, okay, so since my boy don't record me, I have to record myself. So it's really good. It's definitely bitter or sweet and then bitter. But it's very flavorful and it's yummy. Okay, so our thoughts on the restaurant. What do you think, honey? Um, food was great, but we ordered a lot, so the bill was a little bit high. My wife paid. I paid, but it was so yummy. But yeah, it was a little expensive, but we ate a lot, and now, and we drank a good amount. Beer is good. The Ryan beer is good. The plum wine was delicious, um, but now I'm super stuffed, and I can barely walk home. See, he's so stuffed, he can't walk home either. Gio, thoughts? It was good. All up close and stuff. What do you rate it, Gio? <sighs> My sushi roll was a 10 out of 10, but it loses a point because of how pricey and how much we ordered. Just add it up, add it up, add it up, up, up. But, um. So far, our Labor Day weekend is starting off right? You guys have to, if you guys come here, you guys have to eat over there. Yeah, that was really good. Really good. And I love the, I love the fact that it was very traditional. We had a traditional Japanese table where we have to take off our shoes and kind of scoot our way over to our side. Um, which of course, because I'm the short one, they made me go to the difficult side. Wait, wait, wait. You offered. No. Wait, Rolly told wait, me. wait, wait, wait. She offered. Don't let her fool you. No. She offered. Rolly told me. She offered. Home? Okay. We'll keep you guys posted. And Gio made a friend. And now it's time to walk home. Oh, yeah. Look, they brought their cool. They're chilling here on a Friday night. Because then you get this amazing view. There's my child. You're gonna check your weight, you're gonna check your height. We put what for my height 181? Yeah, 181. And they were like 179.9. <laughs> 
can be giving yourself those extra centimeters. Mm. And just like that, we are in and out of there. Giovanni's got to put his shoes back on. Five minutes probably tops. Five minutes to get a physical. Boom! In and out. And now we walk home because it's that close. All they did was just check my heart rate, so arm pressure, height, and weight. That was it. And ask you about asthma and allergies? Yeah, that's it. Jiro and I decided to go for a walk and we came to this beach which is we normally walk over there by the seawall and it goes around um, and we usually walk there's a park over there where we normally walk the dogs at night um, and we saw the beach at night but didn't realize how beautiful it was and this is about a five minute walk from the house there's nobody here and the best thing is that dogs are allowed here so I can't wait to bring our doggies here the water feels really good. I had no problems going in and getting wet. It's not warm, but it's fresh enough to pull you down from this heat. Finally convinced him to take off his shoes and come enjoy the beach. For semi-cold water. No, it feels good. It's so hot today. Well, not that hot as it's been. There are. I'm pretty sure he's going to end up getting wet, which is fine. He can just walk over the chain. He's trying to catch the flying fish or the jumping fish that he's been seeing. Can you zoom into his face? Oh, It's not enhancing. Look it! Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! Burn, 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 burn. There it goes. <laughs> Can you see his face? Yes. Hello. Hello, Gio. That's crazy. <laughs> Well, snorkel experience in Okinawa. However, they have to stay. We came to a beach where it's netted, so they have to stay within the net, which I'm happy about because it's uh, jellyfish season, so. Let's see if they see any pretty fishes. It looks like he said yes. Hi guys, so you're all done with your swimming. How did it go? So don't forget that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and see what else we get into. Show you the other beautiful islands of Okinawa and other spots. Um, subscribe, like, and... I didn't hear I was looking at the fish.